So basically, I'm going to be exporting a gravity sketch model and importing it into VRED. This is a sub D model that I built in, entirely in gravity sketch. I'm going to be exporting this out to VRED and just showing you how I work the settings in VRED. So first thing we're going to do is just start with the export settings. We're going to click save and export. We have three file formats, OBJ, FBX, and IGIS. And you'll see also that in advanced options, we have a, a several settings here. So, so going back, I'm going to select FBX. This is the best one for VRED. OBJ can work as well. OBJ will give you a similar result, but it won't, it won't organize everything by layers. You'll see there's like, there's like three different settings for geotype, three different settings for normals. And then there's this, this button called, uh, it's called sub D mesh. This is render and control. So as far as geotype goes, mesh is going to export like a, you know, just like a mesh surface. It kind of, it would look like a clay model scan, I guess, if you were to bring it into alias. And then nerves will basically convert all the sub D surfaces into nerves model patches. And then full data would, would send out an overlay of both. And then if you have any ink strokes or ink lines or stroke lines in the full data, they would come in as actual curves that you could edit. For visualization purposes, for just VRED, we're going to go with just the mesh. And side of normals is fine. And then this is important. So render will export the fully smoothed model, whereas control will export the low poly version of it. Like, you know, if I were to turn the smoothing off and you're just seeing the basic polygonal model, that is if you're going to export for the purpose of continuing the model in another sub-D program. So whether you're taking it into Blender or Alias sub-D or Maya or something like that, render is what we're going to be using to, to send to VRED. So, uh, so I have the settings all set, and now I'm going to hit export, and uh, I'm going to name the file. And I'm going to export that out. It's going to take a little while to save. Uh, thankfully, I've already saved it. So now I have VRED. Basically, all I need to do is file import and find my file. There it is. File type FBX. Tessellation quality, um, the default setting is medium. I actually set it to low because, and you won't see the difference, um, but it will improve the performance, uh, especially if you're going to be looking at this in VR. So I'm gonna click import. And there it is. So you can see pretty much exactly as it was built in Gravity Sketch, it's, it's now uh, in VRED. Uh, one thing that's really cool about the FBX file format is you'll see in the scene graph that the layers are preserved. So all the layers I had in Gravity Sketch are preserved in the FBX export and they're organized in the scene graph. That's part of the reason why I like FBX more than OBJ. OBJ will give you a similar result, but it won't, it won't organize everything by layers. So now it's really easy for me. So like, for example, the glass, right? I had the glass on a separate layer. So if I turn it off, I can see the, the whole interior. So that way I can assign materials to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start assigning some materials. So I'm going to create a metallic paint. I'm just going to take flake size all the way down. And you can see that that kind of uh, improves the, the flake size. I'm just going to set this over here. Yeah. That's a little bit, little bit easier to look at. All right, so then I'm going to create a glass. And I'm going to make it kind of a dark tint. So I, so now I have tinted glass and 
I'm going to create a dark uh, plastic material for all of the trim in the tires. For the wheel, I might create a brushed metal and assign that to the, the spokes. You'll notice these door shut, shut lines. Um, this is a little trick that I play to mimic door cuts. There's no actual cut line in the surface. So to make it look like a cut line, I, I created these cut lines using the stroke tool in Gravity Sketch, and they're actually tubes sitting on the outside of the surface. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a, a glass material. I'm uh, taking away all of the reflective re reflectivity of it. So I'm going to turn the, turn the transparency down quite a bit. And then I'm going to take the reflection color all the way down. So basically, it's going to be a non-reflective, semi-transparent glass. And if I, if I assign it to the, to the material, you see now it doesn't look like a tube anymore. It looks like a, uh, just a tape line. I'm going to create a, a, a unicolor black for the rail, the roof rail. And then what I'm going to do is create a, uh, a, a plastic, a white plastic. And I'm going to go down down the, uh, the settings here, and there's one for incandescence. I can give give this material uh, a slight incandescence. So this will this will now look illuminated. And then for the rear, do the same. Uh, so, okay, so I'm going to turn the glass off, glass layer, and I can even turn off the whole exterior. So now I have the interior to look at. By the way, if you double click, uh, if you double click on a, on a spot, like for example, if I wanted to rotate around the center of the steering wheel, I can double click on it, and now my, my camera will rotate around the... Uh, the center of the steering wheel. This lighter shader on the floor uh, beneath the seats, I want to make it into a wood. So I have this JPEG image of wood, of a light wood, and I'm just going to drag and drop it over that um, surface. They add decal and hit OK. And then basically it's just a matter of positioning and scaling that image. I'm going to copy and paste that shader to this one. I've got everything in one group for the interior. I'm going to do something called baking. Uh, so I'm going to go to Scene, Bake Light and Shadows. I'm going to say Light and Shadows, and I'm going to hit Calculate Missing. What it's basically doing is it's mapping shadows onto the, the shaders themselves. Now that we've got everything baked, you can see there's, there's there's a nice sort of darkening and shadowing underneath the seats, for example, onto the floor. So everything has a nice nice feel to it. Baking the exterior might take a while. Let's we'll, we'll see let's see what that does here. So what this will do is it'll create a nice shadow over the tires, for example, the wheels, uh, the, the wheel wells will start to create a shadow over the tires. The, the the, the tires will, where they contact the ground, will get darker. Now we have a nice, very, very realistic vehicle. I mean, I can basically take screenshots just like this. And in, in VR, it's going to look exactly like this.